In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a free t-shirt business in six simple steps. And what's great about this business is that it's very beginner friendly and anyone can do this business. And so if you're ready to get paid at any time of the day, no matter where you are, then make sure to pay close attention and watch the very end. Now we're on a step one, and that is choosing a niche. And I know you've probably heard this a thousand times, but it's very important that you choose specific people that you are speaking to, because if you try to speak to everyone, you will speak to no one. To give you an example, I am a Texas girl through and through. And so if someone creates a shirt that says everything is bigger and better in Texas, I am for sure going to want to buy that shirt because it speaks to me. And so it's very important that you decide who do you want your t-shirts to speak to and then who is going to purchase it because that matches and aligns with who that person is. And for this specific video, I'm gonna create t-shirt designs to speak to new entrepreneurs. Now we're on to step two, and that is doing market research. We need to know, do we have competitors? And if so, what are they currently doing? What types of shirts are they selling? What designs do they have? What colors do they have? And what platform are they selling these shirts on? And those four questions that I mentioned are really good data points that you want to be able to answer before you start designing. So I have two YouTube channels that are very popular within this business space up on my computer. And so the goal of this competitor research is to see what are they selling and then take some notes. And so I'm going to go to Austin Godbolt's store and see what he has to offer. So I'm going to click the store tab. A few points that you should take note of when you go do your competitive research is what kind of font do they have? Is it all uppercase? Is some of it lowercase? Is it a font and a graphic? Is it just a graphic? And so if we look here, he has just text on the hoodie, but he has text and a graphic on the t-shirt. And so the hoodie says unemployee and the t-shirt says escape the cubicle and so these are really good designs that I can then take note of and get inspiration from when I go to create my designs and so I'll screenshot it and then set it aside I'm gonna even take it a step further and actually go to his shops to see if I can get any additional information as well as other items he might be selling and so I can see right away he's offering black and navy as colors to choose from and so also the sizes go from small to 5xl and then from LT to 4xt and so just on this t-shirt alone I've been able to write down really good information that I can then take to my store. Now it's time for the fun part, which is creating the designs. And so by far the best place to create designs is with Canva. But wait, before you take advantage of the free Canva trial, you do want to create a free email account for your business. You can decide to go with Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo, or whatever email provider that you prefer, but you do want to create a separate email than your personal email for this new business. Because we are getting the most out of every resource we can, we're going to get access to Canva Pro for free for 30 days, which is more than enough time to create the designs you need for your free store as we're all about action and we're gonna try to get this done in one day. And the way that you can get access to a 30 day free trial is by clicking the link in the description or going to canva.com slash pro. Then I'll let you know that you can start your free pro trial for 30 days. So you will need to sign up and create an account either with Google, Facebook, or using your email. Once you do so, you're then gonna have access to all of Canva's resources and tools. And so before you actually create the designs themselves within Canva, you want to first create a whiteboard that has all of the different ideas and inspiration so that when you then go to create the designs, you have something to refer back to. And so the way that I would go about creating a whiteboard is that I'm gonna type in whiteboard within Canva and I'm gonna select enter. And then from there, it's going to pop up different whiteboard examples. I'm just gonna go with a blank whiteboard and then put the example ideas here. Now I would say that we're ready to go. We can create the designs. And so you can create the designs right within the whiteboard or you can create another page within Canva. Since we have everything right here, we might as well create the design right here as well. So I'm going to click text on the left-hand side of the screen. I'm gonna click add a text box. And so a text box will appear here. One additional step that I need to do is get a list of the top 20 popular fonts. And so in order to get a list of popular fonts, you can go to platforms like Etsy or you can go to Amazon. And so I have a list already created. I can also send you that list directly. You can sign up in the description below. And so from this list of the top 20 styles, it looks like the closest font I have to these designs are Glacier Indifference, League Spartan, and Acid Bold. And so I'm gonna test out the these three fonts 
on the design that I would like to go with. And so I'm going to click the text icon again. And so the design that I've been thinking of because of ChatGPT is to create a new text box. If you have designs already ready to go, that's great. If not, we can hop over to ChatGPT and get some ideas. And so ChatGPT does have a paid and free version. I will switch over to the free version. And so I'm going to use ChatGPT 4, even though I have the plus plan because we're trying to create the shop 100% free. And so what we're going to do is ask ChatGPT to give us design ideas that fit our particular niche or target audience. So I asked ChatGPT to give me design ideas. And so we have a couple of options. It says hustle harder, CEO in large font, followed by small zeros. And it's a play on being a millionaire. We have startup mode, innovate, iterate, inspire. I like that one. Risk it for the biscuit, be your own boss, dream, plan, do, fail, learn, repeat, and venture on. Y'all let me know in the comments, which one of these do you like best? And which one of these things would you like on a shirt? And so I really like dream, plan, do. And so I'm going to create that on a shirt. And so I'm gonna copy the text. I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to change the font to League Spartan and see how that looks. And then, so I have this all in lowercase. As we see by these examples, they have the text all in uppercase. And so I'm gonna to try to uppercase this. So I'm gonna make a copy of the text and then I'm gonna go up here and click this uppercase button. And so it's gonna make all of the text uppercase. And so now we have dream, plan, do. Hmm, which one do you think looks better? Do you like the regular text or all uppercase? For now, I'm gonna go with the all uppercase and I'm gonna finalize this design in a new window. And so for the next step, I'm gonna create a custom size design. And so I would go with 4,500 by 5,400 pixels as the space or the area that's good to create the design. And so I'm gonna copy and paste the design that was just created. Next, I'm gonna change the font to white and black or navy is traditionally the top selling shirt. And so I'm gonna make this design much bigger and I'm gonna put it in the center of the shirt by clicking the center button under the align to page section. And so here we have dream, plan, do in big font. And so now that I'm good with the design and it's on a black background, I'm going to go to share PNG. And so I want to download this as a transparent background. Now we're on to step four, which is creating the print on demand storefront. And so in order to do that for free, we're going to use Printify. And the reason why I chose Printify as my print on demand provider is that you can find suppliers that do very good quality and the speed to shipping is anywhere between three to five days. And so with Printify, customers can get high quality t-shirts quickly. And that is what is most important to customers. And so I'm now going to create an account and you can create an account by going to printify.com and hitting the sign up now button. And so on this page, it's going to ask for our email as well as our password. Once the email and password is entered in, I'm now gonna hit submit. And so as you see, we can sign up and start earning for free. And so it's gonna ask us a few questions. Welcome, what brings you to Printify? And so we have a couple of options. I'm new to selling online and want to start, or I'm already selling online and want to expand. And then lastly, I'm ordering products for myself. And so we're gonna go with, I'm new to selling online and want to start. And then we have what best describes you. Are we an artist or a designer, content creator, business, individual, agency, or NGO? Let's go with a business. I'm not sure if you all are content creators. Feel free to let me know in the comments, but let's go with business for now. Moving on to the next question we have, what do you have experience with? Let's just go with, I'm just starting out. We have no experience at all. And then it's going to ask us, where do we plan on selling? For now, since we're just getting started, let's say the US. And next is going to ask you where you heard about Printify. We all know you heard it from me, but let's just say YouTube for now. And then that's it. We're done with the questions and we have our account set up. And as a special bonus, we will get a $5 discount once we complete the setup steps. And so as you see here, there's a couple of videos that you can watch as well as the dashboard to the left that has a lot of important sections that you'll need to know. For now, we're going to click the button that says create our first product. It's then going to say, yes, let's create your first product. And so we have a couple of options. We have the Gildan 5000, the Bella Canvas 3001, the Gildan 6400, as well as the Gildan 5000B. Since the Bella Canvas 3001 is one of the most popular shirts, let's go with this option. I did purchase a test shirt a few months ago and it felt very soft and it fit really good. And so Printify is letting us know that the the cost of selling the Bella 3001 t-shirt is going to be $11.07. But we don't have to pay anything up front. We only pay once a sale is made. And so now it's asking us to upload the design that we made on Canva. I'm going to pick up the design that I saved on desktop and drag it here. 
It's gonna take a minute to load. And so right now I'm not seeing it because it's a white design on a white shirt. And so the way to change the color of the shirt is I'm gonna click select variants and I'm going to click darker color shirts. So I'm gonna go with black, I'm gonna go with dark gray, I'm gonna unselect white, I'm gonna go with heather red, that's a popular shirt color. I'll go with teal and I'll go with charity pink. And it looks like I have six colors selected. You can go throughout that list and select the color that works best for you. So next I'm going to middle align the design so that it's in the center of the shirt. Customers do not want a design that is crooked. So you wanna make sure that you remember this step. Now I'm I'm going to go to preview so that I can see what a mock-up will look like of this shirt. And so I'm going to click show more to see all the mock-ups that Printify gives you. And so we have the shirt on a hanger next to a hat. We also have the shirt on real people. And so if we want to see the mock-ups on a different color shirt, we can click the color options below. And so now that we have the design on the shirt and we see that the mock-ups look good, we're gonna save the product. Great job, you've created your first products. You're one step away from launching a store and selling your very own products online. And so we can choose to publish the product or order a sample. Let's go with publish the product for now. And so it's giving us the option to connect to Etsy. Etsy does charge actually $15 to create a shop with them. But because this is 100% free, we're going to see other sales channels. And so we have the option of going with Etsy, Shopify, TikTok, Amazon, Printify pop-up, or eBay, as well as a couple more options. Today, we're going to go with Printify. If you want me to create a video connecting Printify to any of these other platforms, let me know in the comments below. But for now, because Printify pop-up shop is easy to set up, very good for beginners, and doesn't cost any additional fees, Printify is the best option to go with for our storefront. Now it's gonna ask for our store name as well as some additional details. For the name of the storefront, we're gonna go with Purpose Crafted. Next, we need to enter in the country of tax residents. So we're gonna go with the United States. We're gonna hit the next button. And so now we have to choose a theme. We have a white background, a tan background, a greenish one, yellow, and then black. And so looking at these different designs, the black one really does stand out, but you can go with the one that works best for you. And because this is so new, they do have limited options, but I trust that as Printify continues to have more sellers, they will offer more options. So let's go with the black theme and click launch pop-up store. Congrats, you launched a new store. The Purpose Crafted store is now live. And so now we have a $5 off coupon. So that is live. We can use it to reduce the cost once the t-shirt sells. Let's go back up to dashboard so that you can see all that's available here. And so you can easily create more products by clicking the button here. You can see what orders require action. So if a customer makes a purchase, it will then show up here and show you the stage in the fulfillment process that the t-shirt is in. It also shows you cost to date. And so this is just the cost of the t-shirt itself. And then we have the products that have been published to our storefront. And although we've uploaded our design to Printify, it has not been published yet. And so we will have to complete additional steps to publish the t-shirt. And to go back to the design that you've created, you can go to my products. You're gonna see this page right here and it has a lot of good information. It's gonna tell you what type of shirt you're selling as well as the print provider that is going to ship it to your customer. And so currently this shirt was set up with Printify Choice. I personally believe that Munster Digital is the best print provider that's available on the Printify platform. And so I will show you how to change that, but I wanna go through the additional information. And so the type of shirt this is, is a Bella Canvas 3001. There's six color options and nine sizes. One of the shirts is out of stock and we can see that it's the charity pink as a 4XL. And so we can choose to remove that size option. The customer will see on their end that color is not available. It, it just depends on what you prefer as the customer won't be able to select that color as an option because it's sold out. And so the way that you would change the print provider is that you would click the shirt you would say more actions, and then you would say replace provider. Once you click replace print provider, you're then gonna go to print providers. You're then gonna be able to see all the options available to you. We're gonna go with Monster Digital as it has a 9.4 star rating. We will click replace and confirm and replace. And once we do that, we have now updated our print provider to Monster Digital. As you see, this shirt is still unpublished within the store. So if we were to click visit store, we wouldn't see any items available. In order to get it available, we're gonna click the shirt and then we're going to put in listing information for this shirt. The first thing you should know about the Printify pop-up shirt is that you cannot change any of these mock-ups. 
all the mock-ups will be created and it will have a white background. So there is a pop-up window. It says looking to increase your sales, add express delivery to your product description to boost SEO performance and attract more customers. And so now it's time to update the title and description for the Bella Canvas 3001 product. And so what we can do is copy the description. And so we can tell ChatGPT to use simple language for this product description. That'd be easy for a customer to understand. And so we'll paste in the existing description and then ChatGPT will give us something that's much more understandable. And so it says, check out this classic unisex tee that feels like an old favorite from the first wear. It's made from soft, breathable cotton that makes it a joy to wear again and again. And so that sounds much, much better than this classic unisex jersey short sleeve tee fits like a well-loved favorite. So I'm going to paste in the description. I'm going to update it a little bit to make it look nice and remove the asterisks. And so really important information that I want to call out real quick is that to the left of the design screen within Printify, it'll let you know the Printify production cost. And so when creating designs in Canva or other design tools, you want to create a mock-up that is the exact same print area size so that you make sure that the design is sized correctly. We have the design uploaded. We have the title. We have the description. We have selected the the shipping methods that we want to offer. The economy is four to eight business days within the U.S. Standard is two to five business days for local, 10 to 30 business days for international. And then we have express, which is two to three business days in the U.S. And so as the speed of delivery gets shorter, the price goes up, which makes sense. The sooner the customers get the product, the more expensive it is. And then we have the different size options. We have small, medium, large, XL, 2XL, and 3XL in the four different colors. And so what we want to do is to update this retail price to just give it a nice flat number. An important point to note is that shipping cost is not included here and that when customers go to check out on the storefront, they will have to pay additional shipping costs. And so now we're going to change this to $20 or we can select all prices and change it to 20, which is much quicker. And so now all of the prices have been changed to $20. And so price looks good. We are profitable for each one. The smaller items are going to be more profitable at, at 43%. The size 2XL will have a 30% profit margin. And then 3XL will be 19% at that $20 mark. And so these are very good margins. As you go about selling your products, you'll see whether or not you need to increase or decrease the price. And so since all of the product details look good, I'm going to select publish and then confirm. And so now I will be able to see this product in my storefront. And so it says amazing work. The most successful shops have 10 or more products keep creating. And so we can repeat these same exact steps for adding more products. And so I'm going to go back to the product page. I'm going to go to visit store. And so now I can see my first product right here. It says stream plan do for $20 in four colors. And so as we can see it here, we have these four colors. We have small, medium, large, XL, 2XL, and 3XL available, as well as the product description and product details, as well as a 30-day return guarantee. So in order to go back home, we're going to click this home icon. And so one thing that we do want to do is finish setting up the store. And so you're going to go within Printify. You're going to go to store settings, and then that's where you're going to enter in additional details. And so we're going to click customize store and to the left we can add a logo so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to ideogram which is a really good free place to create logos and so create me a logo for my t-shirt business for new entrepreneurs okay i'm going to go to ideogram and chatbt i'm going to ask chatbt to create four prompts that would be good for a t-shirt business focus on new entrepreneurs for a logo for a t-shirt business focus on new entrepreneurs. And so it's going to write out four prompts. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to rank each prompt best to worst with a score best out of five. And so I'm going to ask ChatGPT to rank each prompt best to worst with a score best out of five and see what it gives us. And so we'll put the best one into ideogram and then we'll use that for the design of the shop. And so it says startup spark is the best one. So I'll copy and paste this into ideogram 
and then 16 by 9, we're going to go with aspect ratio 1 by 1, as that is the size for the logo. And so with Ideogram, you will need to create an account and log in, but it's completely free. And so I'm going to click generate. It's going to take about 30 seconds. Once that's done, it's going to have good design options to choose from. I realize now that these designs is good for a spark of ideas, but not so good with purpose crafted. So I asked ChatGPT to write another prompt, which I will then put into Ideogram. I really like this design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and say save image as and go with design. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this image. And so now I've uploaded the design. And so you see the logo is in the left hand corner. Actually, let's try white for now. Let's just go with white and see how it does. And so publish changes. Now we have we have purpose crafted design created plus a shirt that's available. And so here you are able to add more t-shirt designs and more products to your liking. Also, these filters at the top automatically get created. You don't right now have the option to change it, but Printify is pretty good about creating these categories at the top based off the type of products that you create. And to get a better idea of all the products that you can offer, let's go to catalog and click here. As you see, we have men's clothing, we have t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, long sleeves, tank tops, as well as women clothes. They offer bottoms, swimwear, as well as shoes. They also have kids clothing, accessories, and home living. And so really with Printify, you're able to really build out a lot of products to fit the brand that you're going for. And this is a really good free option to get started. You now just have a few more things that you want to get done, like payouts. You do want to include an address here, as well as state whether or not you are a US citizen. You then do want to include your full information as well as upload a W-9 so that no taxes is withheld. If you don't include a W-9, they will withhold 24% of the net profit that you make. Once you do so, you're going to hit save and then move on. As it relates to marketing, you can connect to Google Analytics as well as Facebook. And then when it comes to the shipping address, Printify will allow you to use their address. And next we have order settings. This is a really important section that you want to read up on, but order routing basically means if one print provider cannot fulfill your order, they will then route it to another print provider. I normally turn this setting off because I want to make sure that the quality is good and I go with a print provider that I trust. And so the setting is off currently. Moving on, we have order approval. And so we can have this set on automatic or we can manually set this up. Since you're just getting started, let's set it up for manual, which means that you'll have to manually submit the order in order for Printify to then process it. And then we have tracking notifications. How often do you want Printify to alert you? For now, let's just say we'll receive tracking as soon as possible. Once we grow our business and get a ton more orders coming in, then we can turn off tracking. But for now, we'll just say receive as soon as possible. And then for the last order setting, it's going to ask us about delayed orders. For this setting, it's up to you. But personally for me, I'm going to set this to automatic. I would want Printify to send this product out to the customer as soon as possible. And I would not want to delay that. Once the settings are set, you're going to click save. And then you have the option of adding branding as well as gift messages to the order. It will be an additional charge, but as you build up a customer base, it does give them that personal touch, but you don't have to set it up right away. And so let's give one last look at the store so you can see what it finally looks like. And so, and so here we have our logo as well as our shirt that is available. And so there you have it. We have walked through how to set up a free print on demand shop today using Printify.